But people who know the almost 16-year-old Bell call him Jojo, a nickname that apparently fits his personality. The 5-foot, five 5-inch, five 100-pound youngster is described as happy-go-lucky, quick on his feet, quick-witted streetwise, but not a troublemaker. He had come home after school Monday to his 395 Lawton Street residence. His brother-in-law told me around 4 o'clock, Jojo said he was going over to work at Captain Pegg's to see his buddy, Richard Harp. Harp owns the restaurant and has developed the big brother-little brother relationship with Bell. Harp says he would drive Jojo home five or six nights a week. He spoke of the last time he saw Jojo. Next time I know, I seen him coming up about 3 or 4 o'clock, coming up the walkway, and he said, I'm going to Dunbar, play basketball, see you later. Threw his hand up and went on out the door. What do you think happened to him? I think he got snatched. Do you really? Yeah, I really think he got snatched. This don't happen in the last month to five weeks. Three kids, on, uh, three attempts on been right around this store. And, uh, you know, I think that's what might have happened to him. Everyone I spoke to about JoJo said he has never run away and is not the kind of youngster who would. His passion is basketball, which he played at the Dunbar Community Center. And he was well aware of the dangers of a black child walking the streets of Atlanta alone. He cared about it. You know, he, he cared about it. He said, I'm not going to get snatched by the, uh, the kid snatcher. He said, and uh, that's when he would come down here every night. He would let me take him home instead of just running around in the street. Yeah, every night when he get through playing basketball, he would, he would come straight down here.